Today's program is a lesson in mixing styles. The idea is to say to people, you can change the style of your home. In other words, I've cut the pages of my sketchbook in two, for people who have a country-style sofa in their home, for example. If they want to add a modern rug and a modern chair alongside the country-style sofa, it can work. It's as simple as that. Gilles Dallier from Maison Française is going to show us that our most eclectic tastes can look stunning together. We'll start with a total look and then we'll mix things up. The first style that we are going to focus on is the designer look. We always start with the centerpiece, which is in this case the Ottavio Amado suspended black and white plastic lamp. The separate plastic elements really stand out and form a sort of transparent structure. The first proposal. Here we have a designer ambience with a color scheme based on off-white and beige tones with accessories that add a more vibrant splash of color. The Eric Gisard layer tile rug gives an added dimension to the ensemble. The fat fat tables from B&B &B are made of a very shiny material that gleams like a mirror. There is just the medium-sized table that is orange, which picks up the orange of the chair designed by the Campana brothers. A metallic structure like this, made of a tangle of iron wire, adds to the transparent effect. This lamp echoes the gleam of the B&B &B tables and spins on itself like this to diffuse more or less light as desired. The first look is ultra-modern and geometric with precise lines. Now Gilles will show us something completely different. Next, we are going to see the country chic look, epitomized by this slightly Baroque-style sofa from Maison de Mur. We based the look on this very traditional sofa, which is in fact not as traditional as all that, but that's another story. I had pictured a sofa like this, split into three parts. We livened it up a bit with slightly more modern cushions, because I really like associating styles. So we have a suede cushion and the small floral style cushions, which are reversible and come from Autour du Monde Home. On the walls, we have hung these strips of homemade wallpaper. And then there are these two sculptors' turntables holding two lamps, again with a slightly Baroque influence, which give off a very warm light. This rug is really quite extraordinary and represents a close-up of a piece of embroidery work. We also have a Louis XV style poof covered in a fabric by Patrick Fry. As well as this set of tiny cups, which are also very modern. And a wing chair, a really gorgeous wing chair, again in the style of Louis XV, covered with a floral fabric by Rubelli. I wanted to make styles and to have fun doing it, and also to bring in touches of color. We had a great time and really let ourselves go with this look. In other words, we dared to mix quite different styles because I truly believe that anything goes.
Yes, anything goes. And we'll look at some even more daring combinations just after the break in the second part of this whole makeover program. Now let's catch up with Gilles Dallier again to see a really liberated makeover that mixes styles. Designer, romantic country, and for the third, resolutely modern. This look can be described as timeless. It's today's modern, in fact, it is basically classic contemporary with a straight sofa like that. A really lovely piece from Mot de Nature. I'll show you the ropes, kid, show you the ropes. I got a bus and a trailer at my house, my house. I'll show you the ropes, kid, show you the ropes. The very upright structure of this straight linen sofa is softened by comfy cushions. and wood with the nest of tables from first time. Then there's another table created by Eric Gizar for Artelano and little foam rubber vases by James Haley. The low armless chair by Christophe Pillet and Tomo Perez in white and brown colt skin picks up the tones of the rug. The look is very beige, with patches of black, the standing lamp with its tripod base, a small lamp with a black lampshade by Eugenie Briska, and the black table, which again picks up on the black, which I think gives elegance to the interior. It's all about providing a touch of color. In this case, it is the laser-cut, shiki-shiki, distressed plaid. And then there are these two ceramic blocks next to the sofa, created by Poel and Avon for an Italian firm called Gervasani. That was our third look, modern and elegant. Our last total look before mixing up these styles is the ethnic look. This ethnic look is actually already a real mixture. In other words, I didn't start off with the idea that the decor would have an African, Asian or Chinese feel. The centerpiece that I worked around was a folding screen created by Paolo Navone for Gervasani. Then we added an African fabric from Concept Ethnique and this beautiful African sculpture here decorated with cori and glass beads. There is also a Buddha head to bring good fortune. The sofa in the other interiors has been replaced by this velour base which we have covered by three mattresses. On this Moldavian rug, we created a scene as though we are in a Moroccan tent with low stools, elaborate trays, and a creative low lighting look with these forestier candle globes in 12 different colors. We also chose Chinese pottery, and for that extra special touch, these perforated metal lanterns. That was our last total look. And now for the moment of truth. Will these interiors still work when mixed together? So the pages are cut in half and by turning the pages we can see how the styles will look together. People will be able to associate the country style rug with the ethnic sofa, the country style sofa with the timeless modern rug. Personally, I don't believe that any one style is pure. I think that the idea is to mix styles. It is up to you to turn the pages. And as we turn these pages, we see that nothing is out of bounds. So why restrict ourselves to just one style? 